TV town. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, for those who may not know, what is Me TV Tunes? Oh, what kidding? is Me TV Tunes? Uh, Come on, I mean, what is it? Uh, Me TV Tunes is classic animation. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. It's a brand new network, uh, and it's got all the great cartoons in animation history. Uh, Tom and Jerry, Looney Tunes, Popeye, Speed Racer, everything you can think of from the old days, old school. Uh, in many cases, beautifully restored, and uh, looks like, you know, your childhood is back. Yeah. I love that you say your childhood is back because I feel like animation is something, uh, cartoons, these classics, they have such longevity yeah. yes. that, that although there is a nostalgia, they're still they feel still so relevant. Right. They yeah. were built to last. Good uh, as good they as really good. Really, were mm -hmm. they're hand drawn? They're rich in color. The sync matches like it's all <laughs> synced up. <laughs> it's problem. like because it is a problem yeah. these days because a lot of work is outsourced. It's rushed. So mm -hmm. and and it's rushed and it's soft and it's and it's colorless. These are rich and bright, vibrant, and you knew that they were drawn by someone's hand. Yeah. It's, it's really cool, man. It's really great. I love that. No AI yeah. Yeah. was uh, available back then. That's right. No. No. Animation does is evergreen. It never mm -hmm. ages. If you run a TV show, uh, we all love Andy Griffith, but you can yes. see it's black and white. It's in the 60s, the old cars. Uh, you watch a cartoon from that period, and it doesn't matter. It's brand new as far as if you're young and you haven't seen it. Um, you know, it's brand new. This is a timeless network for all ages, but mostly adults that grew up with this programming. And as everyone has said here in their comments, without directly saying it, everybody has a favorite cartoon. Cartoons and animation makes everybody feel really, really good. Mm -hmm. And in our crazy times, spending time with Me TV Tunes is a way to escape. It's a way to relax. It's a way to celebrate one of the great American art forms, which hasn't been celebrated as much as we think it should be, which is one of the reasons we created Me TV Tunes, which is the sibling to the number one uh, nostalgia network in America, even with Andy Griffith doing very <laughs> well. <laughs> no, he, he says the same thing about you. <laughs> anyway, um, we're thrilled to bring literally hundreds and hundreds of cartoons from the beginning of the sound era all the way through even the early 2000s with some of the things that were seen on the uh, WB network with Freakazoid mm -hmm. and yeah. shows like that. The core will always be the best of the classics of the timeless theatrical cartoons like uh, the Warner Brothers Library, the MGM Library, the Sony Library, which has the UPA cartoons in it. Mm -hmm. And um, these people are helping us bring it to life. Uh, being a kid of the 90s, having seen the 40s in rerun, but also having lived through the 90s yeah. creator-driven animation renaissance, like, they brag about meeting Mel Blanc. I brag about meeting Bob Bergen and Jeff Bergman <laughs> and Andy Milo. So, for me to be up there. Here we just got old, didn't we? There you go. <laughs> I was like, it must be you guys time have for to a take lower up couch because it's harder to get up on the higher yeah. seats. Uh, <laughs> no, but it, it really is Ouch. like looking at the Mount Rushmore of animation here. It's, uh, but it's incredible. that's really interesting that you say that, Eric, because that's really what it was. You yeah. came up in the 90s with a plethora of choices, and we, I came up in the, a child of the 60s, a yeah. teen of the 70s where there wasn't a lot of choice, and when the choice came, I still always went back to Looney Tunes. Well, Bugs it's Bunny's always... birthday is this Saturday. Yay! Yes. Yeah, that's right. So in order to celebrate his 84th? 87? 84? 84? 84? 84? 84? Okay. We have to even celebrate Mel's years with him, but also the Bob, the Candies and Jeff's years with these characters, yeah. and that's also me too. And we're doing it on the network yeah. all day on Saturday with a brand new world premiere special that you will see all of these people in doing their thing, plus clips from some great Bugs Bunny cartoons, and then we're running hundreds of, I think it's hundreds, yeah. of Bugs Bunny cartoons all day long on Saturday on the network. For our voice actors, um, I know that over time, doing the same voice can be harsh, or as your voice changes, how do you handle that? How do you deal with that? How do you prepare Well, they pay that? us. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wonderful incentive. Yeah. Look at that, imagine. No, but you know, yeah. it's, it's a really good question. It's what we do. You know, mm -hmm. a ballerina is going to be exhausted after doing that show, but it's what she does. Yeah. We are blessed with this ability to be vocally versatile. Now, it's called voice acting for a reason, because a lot of people can mimic these characters. 
uh, I teach animation and voiceover, and one of the things I tell, I mean, we, we, we get these people, here, I do your voice really well. Read the front page of the newspaper mm. as Porky Pig, um, uh, as Dexter, right. as, as Bugs Bunny, and if you can do that, you know these characters. Um, we're very careful, you know. I mean, some of us will probably like pass on a game that has a lot of screaming. Oh, yeah. I do because as I as I age into my industry, it's harder for me to recover. So I take it like, um, do you have somebody there that could scream for me? Like, do you have a younger person? Because younger chords just you're going to get the same amount of thrashing, but they'll recover. You know, in a day or two, sometime it might take me a week. But I want to speak to, and then maybe Jeff and, and Eric, you can speak to this. It's not so much the physicality of us. Many of us have taken over legendary voices. Um, I, it was very hard for me, like, I don't like the word spiritually, but I'm old and I can't think of another word. But it was very hard for my soul to take over for June Foray because nobody did June Foray like June Foray did June Foray. But she was the spitfire of a lady. And I know that whenever I am lucky enough to get a gig and it's Granny or Witch Hazel or any of the other ones that she did, I tr try to do her proud. And that's more work for me than any vocalization on it is... is um, honoring the character that exists, that they drew, that they wrote, and mm. then honoring the woman that has left our world but has still made so many people's childhood. Mm. That, that's the hardest for me. And I, don't, I know yeah. that's gotta be for you, for Bugs and, and Porky and the thousands of voices you do back there, <laughs> Mr. Man. That, yeah. That's what the hardest, <laughs> Neil, yeah, that's, yeah. A, a, that's the hardest for me. <laughs> Is, is honoring those who have gone before us and keeping it fresh for young people. Well, I think to your question, take care of your voice is very important, mm -hmm. not to overuse it. So f for me, I think my voice has gotten, I think, better over time. Um, and maybe my ear has gotten better because I've studied music. So that, that really helps. And I always uh, encourage people to do that, mm -hmm. you know. Um, as far as like what, to speak to what Candy said, when you are taking over a role that has been so established, it's all about the fans. Mm. I mean, and there's no such thing as the best or, you know, it's like, is, is Tom Holland a better, Toby McGuire, is he, you know, well, who's your favorite Spider-Man, James Bond? Uh, everybody brings something really special in their own yeah. soul to it. So. I don't think any of us, whether it's a Dawes character, a June character, a Mel character, come close to the original. And I don't think we try to. At least I don't. I try to keep the integrity of the character. And look, we are, we are put in situations. I think you do pretty good, though. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. We are put, we are putting, these characters are being put in situations that Mel never did, mm -hmm. that June never yeah. did. Right. Yeah. So words, we have words to, that they never yeah. spoke. Correct. Yeah. Well, they never had cell phones. Right. You know? <laughs> so we yeah. have to keep the integrity of the character with new contemporary uh, situations. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the hard part. But, I mean, I remember when we first started doing the Looney Tunes, and they would play us these 20-minute um, references. Oh, wow. And I had, these porky, I had these porky references, some from the 30s, some from the 40s, some from the 50s, some from the 60s. And I'm like, which one do you want? And they said, well, they're all yeah. porky. I'm like, well, first of all, that first porky one, that's not Mel, because Mel didn't create porky. Another guy did. That was when he first started doing porky. That's when I think he nailed porky. So what do you want? And they're like... Yeah, you know, that's another thing. Bob's bringing up a very good point, and I, I imagine Eric would weigh on this big time, too, is that w when they play a reference, say, a Porky or a Daffy, oftentimes the reference that they have is very sped up. Oh, God. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You yeah. Know, so. And different versions. Because there was versions, a screwball right. Daffy it, and then the... Yeah. The yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, my and, Yes. By the way, this is one of the reasons why I do love watching Me TV tunes mm -hmm. because you get to see Screwball Daffy, and the next one is Greedy <laughs> Chuck Jones Daffy. Yeah. And there's and wouldn't you have loved to have been in the writers room? Like, let's make him greedy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's been woo hoo, -hoo but let's make him greedy. Yeah. How did that conversation happen? <laughs> and that evolution. Ask Jerry Beck. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't have the answer. I bet you would. <laughs> that'll be a cartoon. That'll, that'll be a cartoon college. Yes. 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 I love that. Uh, well, Eric, I have to ask you, um, you've been leading on social media campaign for um, Coyote vs. Acne. Oh, man, are we allowed to talk yes. about that? Yay, uh, let's well, talk I mean, about that. It's just, it's, you know, addressing uh, what Bob said uh, regarding uh, Looney Tunes, the integrity of the characters, even in modern times, the world around them will change, but who they are will remain the same. 
Uh, and I think a lot of that existed in that film. And, um, you mm-hmm. know, it's, it's not over uh, as far as whether it's, it's not a show. over, Eric. It's not over. Okay, the they're gonna, out. No, they're going to release on it. It'll be premiering TV Tunes this yes. Saturday. I'm just right, Neil? <laughs> um, no. That... If, if, if there's, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're talking about the classics, and um, I know you'll see a lot of Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner on Me TV Tunes. Yeah. If we can't see it on the big screen in, uh, in a movie anytime soon, a uh, movie theater anytime soon, for sure there will be on Me TV Tunes. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for yeah. doing this. Yeah. 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 And remind me, I can find everything where? MeTVTunes.com. Me <laughs> yes. Thank That'll you. tell you where to watch. Looney Tunes and more, and all classic cartoons, <laughs> are on MeTVTunes. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's all, folks. Oh, yeah, that's all, folks. You know yeah, that. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, go home. Yeah, they turn off the cameras. Yeah, wait, wait, where's my agent? <laughs> Perfect. Thank Orky you is so Hollywood Thanks. at Comic Con. Oh, oh, please. Thanks, Yale. <laughs>